Recently, the Gulf Coast of the United States, Texas, in fact, was impacted by Hurricane Harvey. So I wanted to learn more. I went to Time Magazine and read the article, Why Should We Worry About Hurricane Harvey? It was the worst to hit Texas in decades, and it was the first major hurricane, meaning Category 3 or higher, to hit the United States since 2005. Let there be no buts about it. This is a serious topic. But underneath all of this is pretty cool physics. Whoa, cool science, serious topic. Hurricanes are spiraling arrangements of thunderclouds surrounding a low pressure system, and the whole thing is usually associated with wicked high winds. Really high. <laughs> These spiraling meteorological phenomena are subcategories of tropical cyclones, which also happen to include typhoons and cyclones. Hurricanes happen in the Atlantic and the Northeast Pacific, while typhoons happen in the Northwest Pacific, and cyclones happen in the South Pacific as well as the Indian Ocean. So there are the basics, but you know you want to understand why these beasts happen. Mm -hmm. I just want to stop, but I can't stop. You want to know. Stick with us. The equation for success is a spinning planet, which we happen to have. Warm water, ocean water, which we also happen to have closest to our equator, as well as winds. We're going to hold off on the spinning planet for a little bit and focus on the warm waters and winds. Hey, those have W's in them. Warm water than wind. W is kind of a weird letter. You don't expect it to be at like all the words in that phrase, wind, warm water. I guess and, wind and warm water. When you have warm water and wind, evaporation happens creating warm, moist air over the water body, which proceeds to rise, because that's what warm air does. This causes the rising air mass to cool, such that the moisture in that air mass condenses into rain. When condensation happens, heat is released. Yeah, no kidding, huh? Actually, you should know that because it's really important for this concept. So heat is released. This heat causes the air mass to warm up and rise even more. Again, it moves into cooler air, which causes condensation to happen, releasing heat, warming up the air mass, whoop, causing it to rise again into cooler air, causing condensation to happen, releasing heat, causing it to rise some more. This is called a tropical disturbance. The beginning stages, the nascent stages, the of a hurricane. Have you noticed that we're telling the story of air rising? This creates a suction down at the surface of the planet, a low pressure system, drawing in air from all sides. Moving air is wind. Now, if it builds to the point that your storm is 50,000 feet high, over 125 miles wide, and the winds are blowing at over 74 miles an hour, you've got yourself a hurricane. We just talked about how warm water and winds can create vicious towering storms. But why do hurricanes spin? How would I start this conversation? With planet Earth and several objects on planet Earth, it takes every single object the exact same amount of time to do one rotation. 24 hours. Now, let's say you're one of those objects on planet Earth, and you go up to the rotation axis, the pole, and you were to take one step away from the pole. It would take you 24 hours to do a very small rotation, meaning that your speed is going to be very slow. Now, let's say you walk down the planet towards the equator. When you're near the equator, you have to rotate a huge distance to go all the way around in that 24-hour period, meaning you're spinning really fast. And that means your apparent force near the equator is much higher than the apparent force near the poles. Now, let's say we have an object, like an arm or an air mass, and you have 
high apparent forces down by the equator with smaller apparent forces at higher latitudes. This higher force is going to cause the object to rotate just like a hurricane. Hurricanes, like Hurricane Harvey, are big, scary, and we should lend support whenever possible. And there is some pretty cool physics involved. Join us on our next episode.